Hi, welcome to this YouTube video. My name is Mark Armand, and I'm going to continue a tutorial I did about a year ago here on YouTube about how to create a blend between two photos using the mask. Now, if you watch that, uh, one of the questions that kept coming up was how did you see the other photos on the screen at the same time? Now you can see on my screen at the moment, I've got this image and I can't see anything else. And the reason for that, when you open up any photos in Photoshop, they will normally be maximized. What that means is the window here is maximized. I'm gonna move up into the top right and choose the middle button, which is called Restore. Okay, and if I click on that, now make sure you don't click on the one above that, which is for Photoshop itself. So it's the photograph window that you're after. So if I click on that, you'll see that it takes it down to a smaller size. Now you'll notice behind that, I have three other photos that I've loaded into Photoshop. Now, the good thing about having these windows not maximized is that you can adjust the size. So I can adjust the size by the corner handle and I can move them around. If I have it maximized, then I can't see the other photos. And when you're working in Photoshop, you do need to see multiple photos because you're doing a lot of drag and dropping. So I shall just restore that. So now I've got these four images and we're gonna create a blend between all four and put some text on as well. Now, one thing to note while I'm working, I'm using CS3 Photoshop, but this is applicable for all versions right back to version seven. And here over on the right hand side is that layers palette. Watch what's going on there. Now I've got four pictures. Now to make life easy, I want all four pictures in one image. So I know that these pictures are all 300 pixels and I can tell that by the ruler up here, they're 300 pixels wide. Now don't forget that when you've got the rulers showing on a window down the side and across the top there, you can always change the measurement just by right clicking your mouse over the ruler and it pops up a, a menu and you can choose to view your ruler in inches, centimeters, millimeters. I'm working in pixels, so I'm happy with that. But you can see I've got from 0 to 300. All of my pictures are 300 pixels. So what I'm gonna do is to go to File and New. I'm gonna create a new image in Photoshop. I'm gonna set a width of 1200, okay? Because I've got four photos at 300 each. Now the height, I'm not too worried about, but I'll put 400 in because I can always crop this picture at the end. So, okay that, and it gives me a brand new canvas. You'll notice I haven't got it maximized, otherwise it'll do that. So I've got this window here that I can move around. I'm just gonna stretch it so I can see the whole canvas. Now, using your move tool, that's this button up here at the top of the toolbox. Using that, I shall select the first photograph and you're gonna click and drag it into this canvas. Okay, so you grab hold of it with your left mouse button and drag it into this image here. Now you'll see nothing seems to be working until I let go, and there it is there. Now also take a note over here on my layers palette, you'll see there's my background layer, and because I've just dragged a new picture in, it's created a new layer called layer one. I'm gonna select the next photo, grab it, and drag and drop it. And there it is there. It's put another new layer in. We do the same with the next picture. We select it, we click and drag. So there's my four pictures, and you can see the four layers in here. Now they're all overlapping. Now first of all, I'm gonna move the first picture over to the edge. The second picture, I'm gonna overlap. Now, I'm gonna overlap it, but I'm gonna stagger it down. 
And the reason for that is because when I do my mask blend, I want to know where the edge of this picture is and the edge of the one underneath. So for the moment, I'll just stagger that down. I then want to blend these two. Now, if you look at the previous tutorial I did on masking and blending, then you'll, you should know how to do this. But once I've got them staggered, I'm then going to come down over to my layers palette. Now, the layer two, that's the photograph on top of layer one that's overlapping. I want to put a mask on that. With that layer selected, I'm coming down to these buttons at the bottom and we have a button here which is to add a layer mask. I'm going to click on that and you'll see it's added this little box here. I come over to my toolbox and click on the gradient tool. Now if you're not too sure where that is, just hover over all the buttons, but it's just about here, the gradient tool. I'm going to click on that. As soon as you click on that, move up to the buttons across the top of the screen and click on this one here to drop the menu down. Now make sure that you've got this third swatch selected here. This is black to white. You click on that and to shut this menu down, you can just click on the title bar up here to get rid of that. I'm then going to come down onto the screen and you should see I've got a crosshair as my cursor. I'm going to put it against the edge of the top photograph and click and drag to the right until I get to the edge of the photo underneath. Let go and that's done a blend between the two pictures. I'm then going to choose my move tool and I'm going to drag this next picture by selecting it. You'll notice I've clicked on the photo or I could click on this layer here, layer three. I'm going to drag that over again, overlap it and stagger it down so I can see the edges of the picture and you repeat the same move. We need to put a mask on this layer three. So I go down to the bottom of my layers palette and click on the add a mask, come over to the toolbox and select the gradient tool. It's already black and white and you click and drag along from where you want the blend to happen. Now watch what happens if I drag the wrong way. I'm not going to drag from left to right. I'm going to drag from right to left and watch what happens. Doesn't look quite right. Okay, so all you need to do is to undo that and we'll do that again. So I'm dragging from left to right. Again, making sure I go just up to where the bottom image edge is and there's another blend. You then need to choose your move tool and just select each image and just move it up so it's in line like this. I select this one and move it up in line. Once you've done all four and you've aligned them up, we now need to crop the canvas. I don't need all this white space around here. So I'm coming over to my toolbox to choose the crop tool. You click on the crop tool and you draw a rectangle around the area of the image you want to keep. Click on this tick up here. Once you've cropped the image, we're now going to remove the color to give it a kind of arty feel. So you need to make sure that your top layer is selected in the layers palette. You then come down to the buttons at the bottom and the one in the middle is called uh, an adjustment layer. And you click on that and it allows you to make an adjustment to the image using any of these. The one I'm going to use is hue and saturation. If you click on that, it brings up this dialog box. And what I want to do is first of all, remove all of the color. So you take the saturation and you take out all of the color by sliding it to the far left. You can see that the color has been removed. Now I want to put some color back into it, almost like a tint. Tick this colorize checkbox. Now to adjust this, I'm going to alter the hue and you just slide that. And as you slide it from left to right, you'll notice it changes the color and click OK. 